Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I have this super easy and simple mock-up video for you. It includes a frame and a matte border, so it looks really nice. Plus this one, I literally use this every single day. And this is something that I do all the time because I forget to take mock-up photos, like with a blank white piece of paper in the middle of my frame. So I do this quite a lot. Um, and I literally did this like two days ago and then I'm like, wait, you guys might want to know how I did this because I literally use this every single day because I started my hundred day painting challenge and I use this frame to mock up my art for Instagram photos. So this is how it's done. Now this frame and this picture were taken just like you see it right here. I took this photo and then after I was done, I'm like, wait, I can use this as a mock-up, as a you know mock-up frame for the rest of my 100 day challenge for my other pictures and then just drop them in there instead of pulling out the frame every day, setting it up, you know, all that, all that jazz. So all I have to do is just take a picture of my art and then I pop it in this frame. Okay, so this is how we're going to take the art out of the frame and then swap it out with different art. Okay, so first thing you need to do is obviously open it up, zoom in, get nice and close. Um, the first thing we're going to do, and this works if you don't have a mat opening, you know, like I do here. If you just have a frame and your art goes edge to edge, you can use this, you know, the same way. You just have to be very careful. Matte helps a little bit because it's got a nice white border and you can kind of, you know, it works just the same. All right, so we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna use our polygonal tool for this to select the square area. You can use your marquee tool, um, but I mean, who takes a picture super straight on and it's like super square? So if you use your marquee tool, it will not select everything um, you know, like it'll be a little skewed, so I'm just not going to use it. So the way to do this is to use your polygonal tool, which is right here, letter L on your keyboard or hold, click and hold right here and choose that middle one, polygonal tool. Um, so click in your corner, make sure you select all of that blue, not mine is blue, obviously different colors, but make sure you select all of your colors so you can go off up a little bit onto your white, click, don't drag, click, let go, and then go all the way to the other corner. If you have a super nice straight line um, and nothing gets cut off or anything, so before you click, you can kind of move it and see. So I'm gonna go right there and I'm just gonna click right there. Same thing for the down one. You can go all the way down or you can kind of click as you go. So mine is a little bit crooked here. So I'm just gonna like click right there and then I'm gonna click right there again. And then I'm gonna click at the bottom. That looks pretty straight. So I'll just click once there. And then I think I'll just go straight to the top. All right, now we're going to grow this just a teeny tiny bit just to make sure to get rid of all of that blue. So go to layer, select, grow. Hold on, I got to turn off my heater here because it's going to start being very loud. It gets really loud and it just kind of buzzes. All right, so now that we have the selection, again, go to select. We Did we already do grow? Go to your history and check. We did, I did grow. <laughs> so we grew our selection. It means like whatever was selected, we made it a tiny bit bigger, like basically like one pixel bigger. It just like made a tiny bit. Now go to my layers, double click again to unlock that and then just hit delete. Okay, so I like this. I'm gonna deselect it, command D on the keyboard or select deselect to get rid of that selection. And we're done. Now we're gonna create a little bit of a drop shadow because again, the mock, 
the mat board is a little bit higher, like it's thick. So it's going to create a tiny bit of a shadow onto your art. Just like, you know, the frame here did just a little bit of a shadow right there. You can see and a little bit of a sh well, a bigger shadow down below. But there is a teeny shadow here and here. So we're going to match that shadow here. It's going to be a lot smaller, but it's going to be there. Before we do that, we need to create a new layer and fill it with white and put it underneath this layer so that we can actually see that shadow because we can't see it right now. So create a new layer, drag and drop it underneath that layer. Um, if you have white here, um, just click this little arrow thing and it'll put it on top. That's the one that you have selected. Click G on your keyboard, click right in the middle. It'll fill it with white. Now go back to that top layer, choose drop shadow, and now pay attention to your drop shadow so that it matches the rest of your frame. So my shadow is on the top left side of the inside of the frame and right here on the bottom. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it here. We're going to move this. So the angle goes up towards the top left corner because that's where the light is coming from. Now you can play with distance. So you like really see where the shadow is. If you can't see it, make sure it's there. So bring it down in opacity so that it kind of matches the opacity of this distance. It's not going to be far off because again, the matte board isn't as thick as your frame. So it's not going to like create a giant shadow. It's just going to create a little tiny bit of a shadow. So it's not going to be far. Um, so you can make it a little bit darker if you need to. You can go back to this later if you need to adjust it once you put your art in. I'll just leave it like this and we'll move on. I'll click OK. Now we're going to place our art in here. OK, so go grab your art. I'm just going to grab this one that I have on my desktop. Size it down. Hold shift if you need to to um, constrain your proportions as you're doing this. OK, hit the check mark and now just bring it down below the frame so that your frame is on top then your art and then any like base white layers underneath. Okay. And you can see your little shadow there. It's not big, but it's there. If it doesn't look right, just click on the name drop shadow, double click on it and it'll pop right back up and you can like fiddle with it a little bit more. I'm going to bring my opacity up a little bit, but I'm going to make my distance a little bit less so that it's not so far away. It's not casting like a giant shadow. Maybe I'll make it like five and the opacity like 18. Just play around with it. You can zoom out to kind of see if it, if it looks good, if it looks good, then you're done. It's all finished. So the next time you bring in art, do the same thing. Just grab your art, drop it down, size it up or down hit enter and then just drag it below that frame layer and you're finished and go ahead and save it. So again, if you want to save this as a template, go to file, save as, make sure you have layers selected, make sure it's in Photoshop format and then you're done. And then when you're exporting these um, for web, like I do for Instagram, I just do export save for web and then I save my desired image size. Usually it's around 2000 pixels wide quality is usually around medium. You don't need anything higher for Instagram and then you're done. Okay. So this is it guys. This was like super easy and I swear I do this like every single day because every time I take a photo, I'm like, Ooh, I should make this into a template or I even don't, I don't even do it into make it into a template. I just basically do this every time because for me it's like super fast when I'm not explaining it, it takes like one minute. So, it's all done. It's all finished. Um, I hope you enjoy this lesson next week. I'm going to try to do maybe something with illustrator or Lightroom. Let me know below which one you want first, what you want to see in it. If there's any questions you guys have about this or any other videos, let me know and I'll try to address those in my next videos. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.